and welcome to part three of uh, how to build a com uh, <laughs> weighted companion cube. Um, last uh, we left off, we did the booleans to clear out or to you know make the circular uh, parts and uh, scaled in some of the vertices to give more angle. And then we left off with making the little cylinder in the front for the heart piece, which is where we're going to jump right into. So with that piece selected, go up to create UVs, um, go to automatic mapping and go to options. Um, I think these are default, um, six, less distortion, fewer projection. Yeah, it should be all default. Go ahead and hit project and with it still selected go back up to UVs or edit UVs down to UV texture editor and this will pop up now we need to find out what is the front and what is the back of the cylinder because we only want to mess with the front so go ahead on top of here go ahead and right click on face drag a little bit and we'll see that's exactly what we want right there one two and three that's one two and three that's the front so with those selected hit control F12 with those pieces selected after control F12 come up here to select and hit select shell and it'll select that whole piece now just like in uh, all the different views in here the uh, W E and R for scale rotate and move work the same as they do here on the UV. So if you click W for the move, all those pieces you clicked, you can move. Go ahead and pull that off of that gray square, but we'll be bringing it back over there. Go ahead and highlight everything else and hit Control F12 again. Now instead of moving, we're going to scale these down. We're not worried about putting the heart on the rest of this. We just want it on that piece. So on the yellow square here, go ahead and just scale that down. Don't have to make it disappear, just make sure it's out of the way. Go back here, highlight the whole thing. Again, Control F12, bring it back in. And this time, scale this outward so we could put as much on it as possible. Um, don't make it too big because all of everything here all of this, this outer circle, everything needs to be inside this gray square. Um, with that done, go ahead and highlight everything again. Now, very important for saving this, it all needs to be highlighted so it knows what exactly you want to save. Uh, go up to Polygons, UV Snapshot, go ahead and name it whatever. I'll go with uh, heart 03 just because I've saved a couple of these um, oh UV it doesn't have to be UV but it helps you uh, figure out which one you want or you know what file you'll be looking for when you go into Photoshop um, size we're going for 2k so go 2048 2048 and uh, yeah all the uh, rest of the settings should be default. Go ahead and click OK. If that box disappears, that means you did it correctly. It saved exactly that. However, if it stayed, it's because you did not highlight everything. So just go ahead and highlight and hit the Save button again. should work. So go ahead and minimize out of all of that. Bring up Photoshop. Go to File, Open. First thing you want to open is that the heart UV that we just saved. Go ahead and click Open and you'll see exactly the UV we j the UV mapping we just saved. Now go ahead and file open again go back to your source images and pull out that picture we saved back in part one. Open it up. Now this is where that heart comes into play. Go ahead and click on the magic wand tool and I have my tolerance set up to 100. You may need to change it. You may need not to. Um, Go ahead and click on the heart. As long as those squiggly lines are around the heart, that's all you want. With that clicked and selected, uh, go ahead and Control-C to copy. Hit Window. Go back up to 
the original piece and control V to paste it on there. Now that we're working with a new layer, this heart's all by itself. Go ahead and hit control T so we can scale this thing out. Now big thing remember hold down shift when you scale this thing out. It'll keep it in proportion. It, it won't make it flat or too wide or anything. We're going to pull it out in this corner, make it a little bigger. Go ahead, pull it back towards center. Hold down shift again, make it a little bit bigger if you want. Bigger, smaller, uh, however you feel it needs to be. Um, I'm not even going to be using the uh, source image on the website any well, we can go look at it. It shows it's a fairly big size, so that's what we're aiming for. And that looks like it, it'd be good enough. So as soon as you got it exactly where you want it, hit enter. Now, we could save it just like this, but if you were to do that and import this onto that onto our object, all these lines and everything will show up and that's you don't want that. So what we're going to do to fix that problem is create another layer. Now, we'll be looking at that layer right now. You just don't see it. If you know Photoshop, you know what I'm talking about. What we want to do is we want to change this layer and make it a nice light gray. Now, I already put in some presets. Um, but what you'll want to do is in the colors here, go ahead and type 180 into each spot. That'll give it a nice gray. When you are when you have that, click on the bucket tool and then just click right on top. Now you see everything else disappeared. That's because this new layer is on top of everything else. You have the UV mapping, then you have the heart, then you have this gray. Now what we want to do is we want to put the heart on top of the gray. So go ahead and just left click, bring it up, and now you put that right on top. That's exactly what we want. Hit File, Save As. Uh, go from the Photoshop format, go ahead and save it as a JPEG. Um, you can rename it if you want. If you don't, it'll just say Copy. So what we want to put back on the object, just go with the one that says Copy or rename it to whatever you want to rename it. Um, go ahead and click save and it'll be save it right into the images folder. Go ahead and hit save. Quality 12 maximum and yeah that's exactly what we want. Hit OK and it saves it. Back out of Photoshop. Pull Maya back up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up Hypershade. With your Hypershade opened up we're going, since we're going to be doing the rendering in mental ray, it'd probably be a good idea to mess with the mental ray nodes. If you click on here and this mental ray does not show up, you probably just don't have the plugin turned on. To do that, click on Window, Settings and Preferences, Plugin Manager. From the top of the list, uh, maybe just under halfway, there's this one called Maya T-O-M-R. Go ahead and check the loaded and auto load, and then just hit close. When you come back here, it'll automatically load it up. You don't have to restart the program. It'll just pop up. So what we want to do is we want to put that heart on there. So what we're going to do is make a Maya Material X passes. Um, I need to get in the habit of naming these, so I guess I'll go ahead and do that now. We'll go ahead and name this one heart. Now we need to import an image on top of this. So what we're going to do is go back here to mental nodes or if you're in a different version of Maya, just go to back to where it shows the, you know, more basic stuff. Go down to 2D textures, click on file. Now that's a big crumbled up mess. Let's clear it out a little bit. So we have the file and what we want to put it on. So go ahead and double click on file. What you want is go to the image name here, click on the folder, and what you want is the copy that you made or whatever you named it to. We want to import that there. Now we need to put this file and make it sync up and connect with heart. So go ahead on file, middle mouse click, drag it on top of heart. This list of things will pop up. Now we're not going to use a bump map or anything. We're not looking for any type of shading or shadows we just want to go ahead and click on diffuse now it's not going to show up immediately 
just like I just did, go ahead and middle mouse click, drag it right on top of that one cylinder. Now it's not going to show up immediately. Go ahead on your keyboard and hit 6, and there you are. There's the heart. Now all the lines are there, obviously, because we still have wireframe on shaded on. Go ahead and turn it off, and there's the heart. So now what we're going to do, the last part of this tutorial, is we're going to duplicate that all the way around here. And yeah, let's just get that done really quick. So from here, go into the side view. Go ahead and insert like we did a few parts ago. Go straight to the middle. Undo insert, since we're going to make that the new middle for it. So when we go ahead and duplicate special, it'll put them all around the outside. So let's go to edit. Duplicate special. Uh, you're going to go on the Y axis. So change that value to 90. Number of copies, 3. Hit duplicate special, and there they are. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now go ahead and highlight the front and rear. Go ahead and control G to group them then control D to duplicate go to the rotate tool move it upward and you'll see you're going at about negative 90 plug that in and there's your cube that's all it is for the modeling portion of it everything is there um, in the next uh, and final stage we're going to go ahead and add uh, the rest of the colors and get this thing ready for rendering and uh, we'll see you in the next episode.